Hello everyone and welcome to the next in the series of revision videos and this one is in chapter 5 simultaneous linear equations starting on page 222 the chapter review and we are doing in this video questions 3 and 4 okay so with these just a couple of things with graphing is uh, the you get two variables and uh, time and speed it's always the case that whatever's in the top row becomes the horizontal axis so time in uh, what's the measurement seconds I believe it is uh, along here and then this row here the, the vertical belongs to speed in kilometers per second uh, time t in seconds there we are okay that's the same for every for every uh, graph top row is the independent variable horizontal and the dependent variable in the vertical Okay, draw a number plane with T as a horizontal and V as a vertical. So T and V, I should put V there. And that's T, T time and V is speed, V short for velocity. Okay, determine a linear model in the form of Y equals MX plus C to describe this situation. Okay, oh, yeah, that's getting ahead of myself. Let's draw the number plane first and plot the points. So, a time of 1 and a speed of 2.5. A time of 2 and a speed of 4. A time of 3 and a speed of 5.5. Here we are, T time of 3, speed 5.5. It did take me a little while to work out the scale of these axes too. I just did a little bit of fiddling out. Just be careful with those because you've got to have enough space to fit everything in. Uh, time of 4 and a speed of 7. And finally a time of 5 and a speed of 8.5. 8 8.5. 8 okay. Now I might just do a little keep that with the red and be a line and let's join these in fact I'm going to continue it back to here that's a little bit out eh? oh no there it is there it is okay in fact I uh, may have to continue with that one but see if we go Put the points, join to make a straight line, tick. Good. Determine a linear model in the form of y equals mx plus c. Okay. So part b, let's do that here. y equals... Now, m is the gradient, or the slope. So in other words, for every one moving this way, What's the change this way? And going from, say we'd pick uh, these two points, going from 2 to 3 increases 1.5. So M is 1.5. For every one that's going this way, it's increasing 1.5 that way. Uh, 1 to 2, it's going from 1.5 to 4, 2.5 to 4. That's an increase of 1.5, uh, 1. yep. So we've got this much. In fact, we should really put the variables as they appear on here. So V. 
that's the that's the vertical axis and it's not y in this case it's v and x is the time so 1.5 t and then this part here is where it cuts across the vertical axis and by the looks of things going by this it's at 1 plus 1 because that's that point there so that's part B C what does the model predict about will be the plane speed at what does the model predict will be the plane speed when t is 2.5 the model predicts uh, that one there at 2.5 well there's our model so we're not going to use the graph we can but nobody to check looks like it's going to be about 4.5 so the plane speed is v at 2.5 times sorry mistake 1.5 times the time which is 2.5 plus 1 so what's that equal 1.5 times 2.5 times oh plus 1 1 1.5 times 2.5 plus 1 is 4.75 there's the bell part D what does the model predict will the plane speed when t equals 6 t equals 6 we're looking at up here above 9 so Velocity equals 1.5 times 6 plus 1. Delete, 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 times 6. 10. And that equals 10. Does that sort of work out? That seems to fit. Yep, very good. E. What does the model predict will the plane speed when t equals 7? So we're just going to keep on going with the sub in. 1.5 times 7 plus 1. 11.5. And finally. Uh, speed is 10, t equals 10. 1.5 times 10 plus 1, that's 15 plus 1 is 16. Here we go, that's question 3. Question 4, internet access plan charges, S fees, an excess fee of $12 per gig. Okay. And we've got data, which is down here. So our data is our horizontal axis. Data D. You may have guessed I'm back at school. And cost C, data D, cost C. Yes, very good. Okay, let's, I've got it all set up here in the right um, so I'm just going to plot the points. Data of 1 cost of 12 cents. Okay. 2 and 24. 3 and 36. 4 and 48. 5 and 60. Oh, I missed one. Okay. That's good to see. I missed one here. Forty-eight, sixty, seventy-two, 
uh, 12, 84. Okay, let's keep going with the red. So five is at sixty. Six is at seventy-two. That's it. Okay, we'll just connect all those up and back to zero when there's nothing. That's it. Very good. So there's our graph of data against cost. Use the graph to find D if C equals thirty. C is 30, which is about 24, that's there. So part B. D, find D if C is 30. So starting over this side, 24, that's 12, 6, that's it, C is 30 there. Go across and down, we're looking at 2.5. D and C. Use the graph to find C if D is 3.5. D is 3.5. Up to there, that's about there. That looks like it's halfway between 36 and 48. That's 42. 42 cents. E. C, D, E, oh, I missed one, B, C, D, D, I missed. Okay, estimate the cost of second, 7 gig. So data is 7. Oh, that's going to be... um. Let's do a little bit of a, extend the graph up to 7, yep, 84, 84 cents for 7 gig, 10 gig, that's off the scale, but since it's 12 for 1, I'm going to go with a dollar twenty, so it's 120 cents. And F, 8.5. That's off the scale. Be two. It's 12 for each. 96. 8 twelves is 96. 9 twelves is 108. So it'll be about 102. There we are. Thanks, everyone.